What's up, Wargamers? Welcome back to World of Wargaming. I'm Isaiah. Today we're going to be playing a game of Age of Fantasy from One Page Rules. Now, I've not done a let me talk at you or anything because I feel the exact same way about this game that I do about Grimdark Future. And if you'd like to know what I think about Grimdark Future, there's a link up in one of those corners that will take you to that very topic. But for today, we're going to be playing a 3,000 point game of Age of Fantasy. I'm going to be playing a combination of dwarves and humans. And Jason is going to be playing a combination of War Demons of Corn and Chaos Warriors or, or Marauder Warriors or no Wormhole Warrior. Whatever whatever the Slaves to Darkness equivalent is, I believe. Um, I'll figure that out before in editing, and I'll remember to try to remember to put that name down where at the bottom somewhere. But anyways, before we do that, if you haven't hit the like, subscribe, or bell notification, please consider doing that. As it will help the empires of man and dwarves keep the wormhole at bay. And let's get into this 3,000 point game of Age of Fantasy. All right, folks. So we're all deployed out for a game of Age of Fantasy. We've got our three objectives because we rolled a D3 plus two and our D3 rolled a one. So we got one, two, three, which again, those in this game don't matter until the very end. We're playing at 3,000 points and I have a large model advantage. So I've got a combined unit of horse marksmen with rifles and the leader has a Gatling gun, a group of hunters, a lord on a griffin who I lost the lord model. I'm not sure where he is. I got to track him down. I got artillery, dwarf artillery with an engineer attached, a unit of dwarf warriors, a unit of marksmen with a battle master attached, unit of hammer elites or combined unit of hammer elites with a Dwarf Lord attached, a hurricane wagon, a combined unit of flamethrower helicopters with attack run bombs, a group of marksmen with a sniper rifle, and a group of Drake marksmen with a torpedo rifle. And that does it for my 3,000 points of Coalition of the Free Peoples, Dwarves and Humans. Let's go take a look at the Demons slash Demon Mortals. Right, so on the Demons and Havoc Brothers side, we've got a Soul Demon of War, We've got a combined unit of blood warriors. We've got a great harbinger of war. We've got a greater avatar of war. We got a havoc wagon, havoc altar, havoc shrine, and havoc knights with a havoc master attached for 3,000 points of demons. He brought a bunch of the big bodies, which is probably going to guarantee that he's going first pretty much all four turns of the game but i do have weight of dice so let's see what happens we're getting into turn one of age of fantasy and this is where we've ended up after our respective scout movements going into turn one big demon demons. gonna charge the choppers okay so he's come in he's got his symbol of war so four dice I do two, two of them are go off. three goes to five with an AP two and I will save two of them and take four and we'll do a quick quality test which I pass fire lash from here into the choppers two with rending okay. eleven swings at AP two which will be fours. I will fail one, two, three, four, five of That'll them. That'll do it for the choppers because they are tough three. That'll take them out and he will consolidate his three inches back onto there, which will bring it to my turn. And I'm going to activate my horse marksman. End up right here, shooting right there. Got nine shots with rifles hitting on fives. That's three hits at minus one. And then we got three shots from the Gatling that hit on fours because the sergeant has it, which won't hit it all. So three at minus one. Four. One fail. One fail. Big guy scuttles up. Twelve shots. Hitting on threes. Okay, so a couple of misses. Four misses. So eight. Five misses. So six. Looking for six. Seven. Save three of them. Not bad. Warriors not here bad are just going to move up their four inches because they're pretty slow. 
And then we're going to go back to Jason's activation. Right, moving up to here, going to use the symbol of war for two. Both. Both. All six and sixes. One. So we're going to activate this unit of marksmen. They're going to move up six into this pocket. And then my battle master here is going to use strategist to have these dwarves move six inches that way. We'll start with the leader from the unit who's got the slayer bow. And he's going to take his shots at that fellow. Hitting on fours. Nothing. And then we got nine rifles and a sniper. So we'll do the sniper first. Looking for a five. Misses. And then we got nine. All right, there's a few. One, two, three four at minus one. Yeah, all right, it takes two. I'll take it. That is back to Jason's activation. Okay, just gonna shuffle up to the wall. Seems legit. Hunters right here have shots on the regular Avatar of War, so we're gonna take those shots on fives. Uh, two hits, no AP. Two. Good deal. Shrine's gonna use its ability to give them plus one to their melee, and then it's gonna move up this way on a rush. This unit of marksmen, who are gonna shoot at the big fella, um, I do have a mage in there, so he's gonna use his ability, I'm looking for a four up for protection. That is a Four. So this unit and this unit have plus one defense. So I got two sniper rifles in the unit, one on the battle master, one just in the unit. So those are on fives. Both hit. AP one. Three up. Oh wait, they always hit on two. Snipers always hit on two plus. So they will, they both would have hit regardless. I forgot about that earlier. One. That's one damage. And have nine rifles on fives. One, two, two hits at minus one. One more. One more. Peel them off a little bit at a time. These fellows gonna rush up this way. Get off this piece. Okay. And then it's gonna be a bunch of me doing stuff. That's it. So I'm gonna start with this unit um, here. I'm gonna put the torpedo into this guy, and all the rifles into this guy. So it was one attack, hits on a three, hits at minus two. Okay. And that is deadly three. How many? Deadly three. Ooh. And we got the nine rifles that don't have an AP, but are rending, hitting on threes. These are into the Havoc Knights. So we got six hit, no, five hits, one rending hit. One rending? One rending. Rending? No. And then five other. And three. One more? Just one more. Okay, two guys. I'm gonna right here. I'm gonna, the engineer is gonna have the piece of artillery move up a little bit. So we'll have the artillery move up to here. Crew moves up to join. We're gonna put the artillery piece into here. And his guns probably and into also there. The, his he has the flame breath attack, so that will also go into gun here. is nine attacks hitting on fours. That's pretty good. So that's five attacks at AP one. Three. Made them okay, all. We're good. And then the flame breath. Flame breath is three automatic hits at AP one. One takes one. Right, so I'll Battle Wagon it. instead is actually going to move up here. Um, we're going to give them plus one to their melee. And I guess we'll give them plus one to their melee because I get to pick two units. And then we're going to shoot at these demons. It's on fours. One hit. It is blast three. No AP. All right. I need fours. Two dead. Two dead. I'll take Then it. I'm going to charge these dwarves into there so we are all up in his business and i have a lot of attacks here all right so we'll start with the boss who's got three attacks he'll be hitting on two uh two hits at ap3 fives 
Pass one, fail one. That 20 works. more swings coming in from the hammerers. Um, so we're going to do 10 at a time on twos. So that's eight. And then another 10. So 18 at minus two. AP two. Let's do 10 first. So you're on fours here? Fours. Three okay. damage? Yep. One damage each. They're not deadly or anything. And then... Four, five, six, seven more. Okay. He is still alive, but I will make a quality test at the end of the lash. Hitting on sixes. One hit. AP two. two. So they are quality... Their defense three right now, so that goes to a five. Which I fail. So that's one guy. And the axe. Also on sixes. One. Rending. Okay, so that's a six. Which I fail. So two, I'll take two losses. We'll take this guy and this guy. And you lost by a lot. Yes. Even with your whatever. Because I also have fear um, from the leader and fear from a banner. So you're at super loss. So don't roll a one. Ooh. We're going to charge almost. here, and we're going to start with the dual hand weapon, which will be six attacks on fours. That's caught. So that's three at AP one. Three up. Made a bolt. Okay. And then we got the claws, which are six attacks rending. So, nope, nope, nope. One hit, one rending hit. Failed the rend. Okay. And then a regular hit. And the regular. Bam. Okay. And then we got Stomp from the Griffin. Um, hits AP1. And then I got to go back because I have Furious. So I have one more of each. So okay. one more for the dual hand. Misses for the claw. Misses for the stomp. Hits, AP1. Does a wound. All right. Swinging back with the gauntlet. Okay. One, two, three, four, five at AP4. Okay, six is. Fail them. Do I need to go again? Okay. Next one is the axe. AP2 with rending. Okay. Uh, just regular hits. There's a rend. So oh, six okay. for the rend. Passes. Oh, five. five. That are AP2. AP2. So fives. Um, let's count. Of which I will fail one. So we'll see what happens here. I'll run. All right, turn two. Charging the big guy into the doors. Okay. I am so sorry. So Jason's been cheating me on his attacks from the big demon. What a jerk face. Now, we just got some attacks mixed up. Apparently, the, the lash is just a shooting attack. It's not a melee attack. Um, but what, whatever. It is what it is. All right. One with rending. And seven at eight. Rending. Nope. And... Seven that are five ups. Uh, I'll take five. Swing back. So we got the big boss hitting on twos. That's two at minus one. Didn't he have rend? Nope. Mm. Good. Good. And then we got two regular guys on twos. All hit, minus one. Four. Get back here. Yes, four. Didn't count. I dropped it. No, yeah, you're right. Minus one. Okay. So I just want to not roll a one here. That is a one. All right, so they'll run. We're going to start here. Shooting here. We're going to put the two sniper shots into his leader. Two. Both hit AP1. Should be good. The map 
Havoc Master, right? Because you can yes. use him directly. Because I can target, yes. Uh, he is good with AP1. Okay. And then we got nine shots from rifles. Six. Nine hitting on fives. Uh, four at minus one. And these are the regular goods. Well, the well this is just to the unit, so it will go to the regular so guys first. Two more die. Okay. That will trigger a morale test on these friends. Correct. Good on morale. Your quality? Three. Three? Okay. So that's good. Um, his activation. Charging there. There's no, there's no AP on impact. So we got four impact hits. Uh, fours. Fail, one, one Havoc Master. Video on threes. One miss. AP. AP three. AP three, so sixes. Fail. Uh, the claw on the horse, or the beast. Okay. Two attacks. Two hits, AP one. Fail. Has one lance. Hits, AP one. Fail. Two hits. AP. One damage. Lose a guy. Alright. And I'll run away. Horse Marksman taking their fast movement over to here. And back to Jason. Alright. Uh, he does a double scuttle up to here because he didn't have a shot at six, which will bring it to Moa, who is gonna do something, but I don't know what. We're just gonna take our shots here again and see if maybe I can get something good to happen. So we got the breath weapon, which is three autos at AP1. Three right. wounds. That's a good start. Nine we'll take shots on fours. That's a miss, miss. That's five hits at AP1. another one and that's all my shooting she'll have to take a morale I test. A quality test she's Not good no. blood warriors they are it, it, havoc, warriors. havoc warriors into well i thought these were blood warriors no havoc warriors, havoc warriors. blood warriors are the other guys my blood angel okay that's right <laughs> into um the dwarf warriors ten attacks Hitting on five. Hitting on fives because of shield wall. Two. Two. At AP four. AP four? Yeah. Jeez. Jeez. Okay. Um, fives. Sixes. Oh. Nothing. So that'll be two. Plus All right. Two. And then second round for Furious, which will be uh -oh. quite a few more. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six more. Four, five, six. Um, save one, so I'll be swinging Five. back, looking for fours. Uh, one hit. AP nothing. AP Four. nothing. Good. Good stuff. I need a test. Fail. See, that artillery busted my ass we'll right there. Move up a little bit here and shoot there. Um, five. Two hits. Uh, no AP. Uh, regular avatar into the artillery piece. Goblet first. All hit. AP four. Six. That'll do it. All right, into the engineer. Uh, these are AP two rending. No hit. For sixes. That'll get him. So marksmen and their leader are gonna move up this way. Um, I will give my order to these guys and have them move six away here. They will take their shots here. So we got Slayer Bow on fours. One hit, AP two. Hits. One damage. Deadly three, isn't it? Nope. Oh. And then we got a sniper rifle, hits on two, misses, and then we got nine regular rifles. On fives. Yup, not a single five. So take a morale test. Don't roll a one, I guess. You're good. 
Um, all right. Sure. Why not? Two attacks. Miss. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got him. There we go. All right. Turn three. I'm going to whip down. Sure thing. All right. Rent, uh, AP two. Two, four, six. How many? Eleven? Eleven. Eleven. Um, that will deal with you. They're going to move over here. We're going to try to cast a fireball. I need a three up. I cast the fireball, so that is three hits with AP2. All right. Uh, made one. Okay, so two damage. And then I got two sniper rifles. Hit on twos. Both hit. AP1. Two more. Okay. And then I got Only nine five. rifles. Um, four at AP1. Four up. And he's dead. All right. I, I killed a thing. I killed a whole unit of something. Jesus, this has been super, super wopsided. And not the way that either of us thought it was going to be. Like, we, we feel like we're doing something wrong here. Maybe I'm just bad at making the list, but... Like, I feel like Weight of Dice had no advantage here because, and maybe what do you guys like? Do you guys house rule the person who finishes first always goes first? Because that seems like a huge advantage to, like, super small elite armies like this because I never have a chance to, like, shoot first and move away or anything. I don't know. It just seems wonky. And maybe it's supposed to be. It's still bloody, which is always fun. It's good to see stuff die. I just wish that, like, with for the number of models that I had versus the number of models that Jason had, I feel like I should have done more damage to stuff. And all I've done is die. Yeah. Big crab thing scuttling over to charge the horses. All right. Heavy flame claw coming in hot. AP 10 and AP 4. Okay. Looking for sixes. One, two. All right. And then the stomp attack, which should finish us out here. AP2. AP2. That we'll activate here. We'll give him a plus one in melee just in case. And we'll give them a plus one in melee just in case. And we'll shoot here. One hit. Blast three. No AP. Kill two of them. Okay. How many do I have left? Uh, six. six. So I'm just going to scoop it up. There is, I have zero chance of doing anything here because even if I can get to the objectives, there's just absolutely nothing that I can do against like these like, AP4 on these guys. Get out of here. There's absolutely nothing that I can stand that I had that can stand. So I'm going to shake Jason's hand and we're going to call that a good game and we're going to uh, go ahead and not waste our time so that we can get another game of something else in before the day is out. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you guys have enjoyed this absolute bloodbath. And I hope you have an absolutely amazing rest of your day. And as always, I'd like to say a big, huge, from the bottom of my heart, thank you to our patrons who support us and pledge to us over on Patreon. You guys are the absolute best. If you enjoyed the content you saw here today and that's something that you would like to consider doing to help out the channel go over there check out the link in the description check out the patreon there's a lot of cool stuff over there including access to our discord server talk to me hang out with me talk about our work what we got going on in the hobby um some shout outs all kinds of cool stuff check it out if that's something that you think you would be into and regardless of whether or not you do that i want you to know that i am incredibly grateful that you decided to stop by and spend part of your day with me today, rolling dice and pushing toy soldiers around. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. And as always, may the dice be ever in your favor.